हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू शेख हैंड विद लाइफ यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम नरेंद्र शर्मा एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कर्डसिस व्हाट इज कर्डसिस एंड व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ कर्डसिस एंड हाउ वुड यू कैलकुलेट द कर्डसिस फॉर द गिवन डेटा एंड हाउ वुड यू आइडेंटिफाई द कर्डसिस फ्रॉम द फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कर सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स आई विल डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो विद यू so stay till the end of this video uh, with me so that you can understand the the concept of kurtzis uh, completely so kurtzis can be used to analyze the data and the in the same way skewness and kurtzis both are both can be used to analyze the data uh, in the field of six sigma and in the field of uh, data science and there are uh, if if you are in the field of statistics then you definitely need to analyze the data in uh, or the the frequency distribution curve and for that you have to analyze the skewness from the frequency distribution curve and uh, kurtzis also for the frequency distribution curve so now come to first we will understand what is the absolute kurtzis so absolute kurtzis first understand the kurtzis so kurtzis is a measure of the peakness of a distribution so it is the degree of measure for that you can understand the how peak your distribution uh, whether it is a less than the normal distribution uh, whether it is the less than uh, peak than the normal distribution or it is the higher than the peak of the normal distribution so the larger curves larger the kurtzis the more peak will be the distribution when you get the value of the curtis is higher you will get the more peaked distribution so curtis is calculated and reported either as an absolute or a relative value so curtis can be calculated either in the positive or either in the absolute way or in the relative way so it is depending upon the use of the curtis value how do you use that Now generally the curtis is uh, presented in the relative format format so absolute curtis is always positive number when we talk about the absolute curtis it is it 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 comes as a, in a positive number and uh, the absolute curtis of a normal distribution is 3 and when we talk about the the absolute uh, value of uh, curtis for a normal distribution curve it is 3 so here are three types of curve are here so this is this this is the peak curve and it is known as the leptocurtic uh, distribution uh, uh, leptocurtic curtis for this distribution and it is the normal curve this is the normal curve so and this is a flatter than the normal curve so it is platocurtic curve and this is a leptocurtic curve so for the normal it is also known as the mesocurtic curve now come to the calculation of the kurtzis so how do you calculate the kurtzis the formula uh, which can be used to calculate the kurtzis is this this is the formula for calculating the kurtzis and the measure is beta 2 so beta 2 and uh, this formula is summation of the all the individual values uh, the summation of all these values so this is the summation of xi minus mu divided by sigma and fourth power of this this operation and then this divided by the number of observations so whatever be the number whatever be the number of the observations you need to divide all these this operation divided by the number of observations you will get the beta 2 value now if the beta 2 value greater than 3 the curve is more peaked than the normal and it is known as the leptocurtic curve so here is the leptocurtic curve in this case the beta value comes as uh, greater than 3 and in the second case if the value of beta 2 less than 3 the curve is less peak than the normal and it is known as the platocurtic so this is the case here is the case in this case the beta 2 value comes as the uh, comes as less than 3 this is known, known as the platocurtic and if you get the beta 2 value equal to 3 then the curve is having normal peak in this for this case and it is also known as mesocurtic so this case is the mesocurtic uh, case uh, for the normal distribution curve so this way you can understand the the peakness of the of the curve 
and the courtesies for the frequency distribution. Now come to the relative courtesies. Basically when we are talking about the courtesies, we are talking about the relative courtesies. Now absolute courtesies as we know that for a normal distribution is 3 and this value of 3 is taken as the datum to calculate the relative courtesies given as. So we consider the 3 as the standard value for the normal distribution and we take it as the, the, the datum or a, a standard value for calculating the relative courtesies. So relative courtesies is equal to absolute courtesies minus 3. So this is the formula for calculating the relative courtesies. First you have to calculate the absolute courtesies. Then you need to subtract 3 from the absolute courtesies value and whatever you get, you will get the relative courtesies value. Relative courtesies can be negative. In case of absolute courtesies, it is always positive value. But when we talk about the relative courtesies, it will be negative or positive. We always work with relative courtesies. And generally when we are calculating the courtesies, we are calculating the relative courtesies. So courtesies means relative courtesies. So this case, in this case when the curve is peaked, the value will come as the positive courtesies, positive value and you will get the positive courtesies and you will get the negative courtesies in case of the flatter curve. <coughs> so how would you calculate the courtesies? We understand this by an example. So we can better understand the courtesies, how would you calculate the courtesies and how would you identify the courtesies for a frequency distribution curve. And here the percentage dividend data of 20 different companies in pharmaceutical sector are given. So dividend data is given here for 20 different companies. So uh, the company, some company gives 24%, 22, 14. So hence the data has given here and uh, how to analyze the skewness and courtesies of the given data. So here if we are talking about the skewness, we are also identifying the skewness and calculating the skewness for this data. But uh, uh, the skewness, the video for the skewness is already available on Shake Hand with Life YouTube channel. And if you want to understand the concept of skewness in detail manner, you need to watch the video of skewness which is available on my channel Shake Hand with Life. So subscribe Shake Hand with Life YouTube channel and press the bell icon. So whenever there is a new video uploaded on Shake Hand with Life YouTube channel, you will get the notification immediately. And so many other videos of statistics are also available on Shake Hand with Life YouTube channel. You can watch them and understand the concept, different concepts of statistics. Now come to the this, this problem. Here is the data values arranged in a different manner. So the data values are arranged in the column manner. So in the first column, you can see here. In the first column, you can see here the data is arranged in the column format and in the first column the dividend data is available uh, which can be presented by XI. Now in the second column uh, we have already calculated the mean of this data. The mean of this data is 21.15 and when you subtract the, this mean from these individual values you will get all these data in the second column. Now you also need to calculate the standard deviation of this data and the standard deviation of this data is 4.07. So how would you calculate the mean, median, mod and standard deviation all these types of videos how do the calculation of mean, the calculation of median, the calculation of mod and the calculation of standard deviation all these uh, videos are available on Shake Hand With Life YouTube channel and you can watch all these videos and learn how to calculate all these uh, these, these uh, statistics measures uh, statistic measures and uh, now come to the this third column in the third column uh, you have to divide this these individual values by standard deviation so you will get this operation xi minus mu divided by sigma so all these values comes after dividing the standard deviation uh, 
to this this value and in the fourth column if you want to calculate the skewness then you have to take cube of this operation so that means <coughs> all of these all of these individual values need to be cubed so in the fourth column you will get the cube of this these values now in the fifth column what you will get you need to uh, make fourth power of this this operation so here is the fourth power of all these individual values so here you need to calculate the fourth power of these these individual values and then sum up of all these in the fourth column and in the fifth column and if you want to calculate the skewness then you need to uh, divide this summation by the number of observations the number of observations are 20 and here you can calculate the skewness value the formula of the skewness is available in the skewness video and now here we are uh, talking about the curses so you need to uh, divide this summation here is the, uh, the formula for curses beta 2 and the summation is divided by the number of observations so 43.10 divided by 20 and you will get 2.15 now you need to calculate the relative curses so for relative curses you have to apply this this equation absolute curses minus 3 and uh, 2.15 is the absolute value and 3 need to be subtracted from this absolute value 2.15 minus 3 and you will get minus 0 0.85 and what you will find here the frequency distribution has left handed skewness why because the value of skewness is minus in the negative way, way value and also the relative curse is also in the negative so the skewness is in the distribution curve is also in the uh, is, is, uh, is the left handed skewness and the curse is, is the platycurtic uh, means flatter distribution and how then the normal distribution and how will you uh, how do we check this whether these uh, the values how would you uh, confirm the skewness and the curses from the frequency distribution curve we can uh, uh, see this in the next slide so here is the frequency distribution of the given data <coughs> so here the uh, cells in which uh, the frequency is distributed so intervals class intervals are there in which the frequency is of the the number of companies who given the the dividend in form of percentage 10 to 12 there is no company who has a given the 10 to 12 percent of dividend and the 12 to 14 percent dividend given by the two companies 14 to 16 percent of dividend given by the two companies and so on now uh, the data is uh, presented by the histogram here and in the line graph also so here you can see that the mean is 21.15 median is 22 mod is 24 and the relation is uh, you can see here the mean is less than median and the median is less than uh, mod so mean is less than median median is less than mod so this relation is uh, come out when the curve is left handed when the skewness is the left handed so in uh, the as we know that the skewness is left handed because the value comes out uh, in negative and uh, also the it is the platycurtic curve platycurtic curtises because this value is the relative curtises also comes out as uh, minus 0 0.85 so is a uh, you can this way you can understand from this frequency distribution what type of skewness is there in the frequency distribution and what type of curses is available in the frequency distribution this way you can identify uh, the skewness and the curses so the skewness and the curses both are the important measure uh, to identify the the disturbance in the frequency distribution data and uh, where you need to correct the data you can identify if you are work in the field of Six Sigma or if you are working in the field of data science or you are a student or a teacher of a statistics then this this video is very important for you you can understand the concept of 
both skewness and cortices with this example. So this is all about uh, for this video. Uh, very soon I will be available, available uh, in a new video with a new topic. So if you have completely understand the concept of cortices, so please do like this video and share this video among your friends and colleagues and comment if you have any comment regarding this video then please do uh, share your comments uh, by writing the uh, the your feedback in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe shake hand with life youtube channel and uh, press the bell icon so whenever there is a new video uploaded on this uh, shake hand with life youtube channel you will get the notification immediately and uh, if you want to download the course notes ebooks multiple choice questions test paper then uh, please go on my website uh, shakehandwithlife.in and you can also uh, learn different concepts uh, regarding the management uh, and the engineering on the, my website. So this is all about in this video very soon I will be available with a new topic on Shake Hand With Life YouTube channel. So till then have a nice day. See you again. Happy learning.